Hi, hello everyone, welcome to the channel and today I will show you how to do a convolutions in Google Attention. So let's get started. So the convolution or the low pass filter. So the reason why we are doing a low pass filter in remote sensing because in image uh, we usually have a high frequency so high frequency uh, applied value or the DN value or the reflectance value. So we usually apply a low pass filter so to adjust or to smooth the high frequency uh, the high frequency data values in imageries so now to perform a convolution or a low pass filter or to smoothen our image so let us first load a sentinel image into google earth engine so to load a sentinel image into google earth engine first of all define a region of interest with the coordinates of with the coordinates 38.74 and 9.00 so define a variable called region equals to double e dot geometry dot point and using this specific coordinates that is our region of interest or the study area and next we are going to import our sentinel image into google earth engine for that i defined a variable called uh, var uh, raw image equals to double e dot image collection copernicus s2 so to filter with the specific date that is in order to perform a temporal filter we are using uh, filtered uh, filter date from 2017 December 1 December 1 to 2017 December 31st and next we're going to filter by with our study area so in order to filter with our study area define dot filter bound region so the region here refers to our study area are defined with this specific coordinates so next is uh, we're going to filter with the uh, cloud contamination that is cloud filtering so in order to perform the cloud filter we are going to use this uh, dot filter double e dot filter dot lte cloud pixel percentage it refers to the meta metadata in the satellite image cloud pixel percentage we are going to represent less than 20 so if it is more than 20 we are going to avoid that so we have given less than 20 the cloud contamination less than 20 so next is we are using dot median so we are specifically using this median function so we have our data sets ranging from uh, 2017 to uh, 2017 to uh, from 1 december to 2017 31st so there will be a uh, multiple uh, images in order to acquire a single image out of this uh, time series we are using this median function so uh, by using this median function we acquire um, a single image out of this sequence of uh, sequence of uh, image that is we are acquiring a, a large set of data we have a large set of data and using this function or algorithm we will acquire a single image a median image out of this range and next is so now to generate a kernel or to define a 5 by 5 low pass kernel so it is used in order to uh, smoothen our uh, data that is our satellite image so to smooth our image or to perform this kernel 5 by 5 we define a variable called kernel equals to this algorithm that uh, performs our to perform the smoothening so we are using the specific algorithm that is double e dot kernel dot square and uh, we are, and we have to specify the radius that is 5 and we define the units are in pixel so the 5 here uh, represents that uh, every pixel uh, 5 by 5 pixels so 5 by 5 a square kernel so I have generated a low pass a 5 by 5 uh, kernel and normalizes true and next is to smoothen and smoothen the image by convolution with the uh, box car kernel method so once we have uh, defined our our kernel we have to connect to our image so in order to uh, do that we defined a variable called smooth image equals to raw image so that is referring to this our sentinel image and dot convol convolute and kernel the kernel here refers to this variable kernel so we have generated our low pass kernel and next we are going to define a visualization parameter for that so we define to define a visualize a visualization parameter we defined a variable called visualization param equals to uh, curly bracket open curly bracket bands we are using the bands band 4 
band 3 and band 2 of sentinel image with a maximum value of around 2000 and we closed it and next in order to add our layer and to add our layer we defined raw image that is our sentinel image we defined a variable sentinel image and our visualization parameter we defined here and uh, our raw image output as a raw image and uh, you can able to view that for visualization parameter we define band 4 band 3 and band 2 it defines the true color composite and next is the uh, and this particular uh, functions that are uh, that generates our smooth and image so from a raw image it generates uh, outputs or gives us a smoothened image now uh, let us add an, uh, our layer smoothen in layer so first lay this layer it is our raw layer, raw image and second layer it's our smoothen image that is our after performed our kernel uh, 5 by 5 low pass so to add that layer we define map dot add layer smooth image so we defined here smooth image with our kernel function and uh, defined a visualization parameter so we have defined a similar visualization parameter band 4 band 3 and band 2 the max value of 2000 and next is we output as a smoothened image that is we are giving a layer name as a smoothened image and to center our uh, center our uh, satellite image with a specific zoom level it defined map dot center object region that refers to our study area so you can able to view here that is our study area with the specific coordinates with a zoom level of 10 so now let us run our uh, code go to this option called run script click run So we have our two two layers that is one is of smoothened image and so we have our raw image let me turn off the smoothened image so this is our raw image so this is our smoothened image so now we can able to view that this layer is our smoothened layer after performing our convolution that is our kernel low pass 5 by 5 and uh, this is our raw image so it looks kind of uh, suppressing our uh, data values of uh, raw image so this layer smoothened uh, we performed using this uh, using our low pass kernel so to smoothen an image we have performed this so uh, in this video we have shown you how to perform so to how to import a sentinel image into our google earth engine and how to pass how to perform a low pass filter or the convolution to smoothen our satellite image in google earth engine and finally we have uh, output our layers so let me show you this layer so smoothened image this is our smoothened image and this is our raw image so using your kernel we can able to smoothen this image the raw image can be smoothened so thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel to and give us a like